The man who has been working for months to put together and to put on this very different Reese's Senior Bowl is the executive director, Jim Nagy, who joins us now live on NFL Network. Jim, this has been a challenge, yet here we are. This is really unlike anything we have ever done before for an All-Star game, the All-Star game of All-Star games. What has this been like and what does it feel like to actually get here? Uh, yeah, Andrew, you said challenge. It's been a challenge, but you know, my favorite day of the year is player arrival day. Um, but getting the guys on the field and seeing all the different helmets and, and really from from a scouting perspective, um, I've watched tape on these guys all year. But to get them out of here and see them live and see them move, um, this is what it's all about. I'm just excited we're here. No doubt a big undertaking this year, Jim, and congratulations for, for getting this off the ground here. But for those that don't know, when did you start working on formulating a plan where this whole thing could work in this crazy year that we've had? Yeah, DJ, really all the way back to late March, early April, when, when everything started to hit. Um, I knew we, it was a possibility we'd still be in this mode. Uh, I, was, I was very wishful we wouldn't be, but um, had plenty of time to make that plan. And then once we got into the fall process um, and it became pretty clear that this is what it was going to be, we really started to uh, reach out to people at the college level, the NFL level, infectious disease people, um, and really just try to do as much research as we can. Um, and the main thing was, can we do this safely? And once we got to the point where we felt like we could and, and we were confident in our plan, then it was full speed ahead. You know, Jim, there have to be a lot of scouts and evaluators that are very grateful and thankful that you've been able to really give a bunch of guys that opted out of COVID an opportunity to show their wares. What has that been like to have a lot of guys that haven't played during the regular season but show up and play this week down in Mobile? Yeah, I think it says something about them. Um, at orientation the first night, Coach Rule and Coach Flores both talked about um, they want intense competitors. And I think these guys that opted out, um, you know, they could have easily taken the route of, hey, I'm rusty, I'm worried about the rust factor. And they didn't, they didn't do that. Um, you know, they jumped right in. They were all about coming to the game. They didn't waver. Um, and to get him out here on the practice field, like, like Spencer Brown from Northern Iowa, I asked him when the last time he put his pads on, it was like, you know, November of, of 2019. So um, I think it speaks volumes of who these guys are. Just, just being here um, tells about their passion, their love for it, their competitiveness. And, Jim, I don't think it's an overstatement to say this is the most important senior bowl ever. It's always the best against the best. It's a job interview. Let's see what you got here. But for a guy like Spencer Brown who didn't play or for players who maybe only had a few games and then they chose to opt out or for players whose schools, again, like Spencer Brown, just shut down, um, this is their only shot, really, without a combine for a lot of them to show what they have. Right, Andrew, you're right. Um, and we always believe in the value of the game. I um, mean, that's why it's easy for me to sell this game. Uh, I really believe in the value of it. But you're right, more so than any year probably, um, there's more value to it. We, we said to the guys the other night at orientation, um, the 136 guys in this room, you might be the only players in this draft class that get this opportunity to be, you know, face-to-face -face interviews um, behind plexiglass and then uh, and, and be seen in a, in a practice setting. So, um, and, you know, we really wanted to make this happen one for the NFL guys, because I can't imagine being a, a GM or a decision maker in April and having to draft guys without seeing them. And then for these players, just the whole yo-yoing nature of the season and, and canceled seasons and no, we're back on and, and just all, everything they went through. Um, it was a tough year on anyone in football. And uh, so to have this year and see it all come together, um, I'm just happy for these teams. I'm happy, happy for these players. And happy for the people of Mobile as well, for local businesses, for all the fans there. This is a huge event on the Mobile calendar. And so for the NFL world to still come yeah. down there and have the event that you, Jim, have worked all year to put together, that is huge as well. We cannot wait to get there um, and wait to see, uh, to see Cuppy firsthand on Saturday. Jim, uh, <laughs> keep the lights on for us. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. See you soon. Thanks.